Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. California's top law enforcement officer just screwed the entire state. Democrats across America actually want to decriminalize illegal immigration into the U.S. That's right, folks. Just come on and enjoy the free housing, food, education, medical, and if you want to work, feel free to take jobs away from legal citizens. It's really quite insane, frankly. California is the latest state to join this movement. Cali is already a sanctuary state, but this is far more serious. California's top law enforcement officer, Xavier Becerra, the Attorney General of California, said to HuffPost, They are not criminals. They haven't committed a crime against someone and they are not acting violently or in a way that's harmful to people. And I would argue they are not harming people indirectly either. More from Jason Hopkins at DCNF. Becerra, according to his HuffPost interview, acknowledges that migrants who attempt to enter the country illegally are breaking civil laws, and he argues they should not go completely unpunished. However, he contends that charging them with immigration violations while also placing them into the deportation process unfairly brands them as criminals. If you call them criminals, it's a lot easier to get people to turn against them than if you call them undocumented immigrants, the first-term attorney general stated. Becerra, a Democrat, is not alone in his calls to reform how U.S. law enforcement handles illegal immigrants. Julian Castro, a former Obama administration official and a 2020 Democratic presidential nominee, says he wants to decriminalize the act of unauthorized entry into the U.S., leaving only a civil penalty. Fellow Democratic presidential contender Beto O'Rourke has expressed similar sentiments, along with other Texas Democratic lawmakers. Any foreign national caught for the first time attempting to enter, or residing in, the country illegally can face up to six months in prison. Subsequent violations can land individuals in prison for up to two years or much longer if they are also convicted of other drug or aggravated assault-related crimes. Calls to decriminalize illegal immigration comes as Democrats are increasingly becoming hostile to immigration enforcement agencies altogether. Both Democratic reps, Ilhan Omar of Minnesota and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez of New York have called for abolishing Immigration and Customs Enforcement ICE. Other Democrats have been attacked from the left for suggesting ICE should still exist. ICE operates as an unaccountable deportation force, former Hillary Clinton campaign spokesman Brian Fallon said in January. Dems running in 2020 should campaign on ending the agency in its current form. Unbelievable. God bless. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.